The police arrested and arraigned the accused lecturer, Andrew Ogbaje, for murder and culpable homicide before the court, while the son of the lecturer, who is also an accused and a final year student of University of Agriculture, is now at large. Father and son were accused of sexually violating the 13 years old for five years. Before her death, she revealed that she was threatened not to open up. Late Ochanya was the niece to the lecturer's wife. Angry women will be seized the court premises carrying placards and demanding for justice and also calling for the prosecution of the wife of the lecturer as accomplice. The police people to go after the boy and arrest the boy. Not only the boy, what of the mother? The mother who her bodies over five years, your husband, your son, using your own sister's daughter through the anus, through the vagina, and lead to VVF. You have a daughter, they are using her for five years, you don't know. Felicia must be arrested. The Federal women demand her arrest. And the they must also must be Counsel to late Ochanya, Godwin Teheme, speaks. The case has been arranged, the court has made orders to his command and has also declined the decision in the matter, which means the accused did not even take his decision and the matter has been adjourned to the 29th of November for further motion. However, counsel to the accused declined comment and drove off. One of the family members of the late victim, John Ame, who spoke to journalists, called for justice to serve as deterrent to others. He demands more level of accountability. He demands more level of seriousness. And that is why he should be taken seriously. There are so many attorneys out there who are going through similar issues. And if this matter is not dealt with decisively, it won't help the society to grow. Meanwhile, the accused, who is also the head of the Department of Catering and Hotel Management of the State Polytechnic was taken to the medium security prison Makodi. In Makodi, Naomi Isha Kubugu, Liberty News.